Hello everybody, it's Vengeance here, and I thought I'd do this quick tutorial because I've seen tutorials like this, but none of them really ever go, you know, in depth, and they explain, you know, really well, but they don't explain too well. You know, I might not do the same, but I'll try my best. So, as you can see from the title, this is basically how to turn a Gary's Mod ragdoll into a player model. Alright? But before we even start any of this, we need to have a few things ready. We need to have Blender installed, which we'll leave in the description. We need to have the Blender Source Tools installed, which is right here. I already have it. Download me in the description below. We need GMPU. Remember, all of this is in the description. We're going to need GMAT Extractor. And we're going to need Crowbar. But we also need one more thing. We need Notepad plus plus we we need notepad plus plus which will also be in the download description so that's five downloads in total so don't worry they're all virus free all right so first we open up blender just let it load here for a while it takes a while since i've worked so much with it and blender is great it's not the best but it's great so here's the version i have it's up there too if you want the same one go ahead so just delete this little box as we won't need it and what you want to do is you want to go to File, User Preferences, and you want to be here on Add-ons. What you want to find is, let's go to Import and Export. You want to have, alright, well yeah, there you go. So I did see it, I was just being an idiot and I uh, skimmed over it. So you, need, so you want Blender Source Tools, you need this. If you don't have it, that means that you don't, it didn't come with your blender which it shouldn't so you want to go install from file and you want to go to your your blender source tools to zip so you just click it and you click install from file I already clicked it so that's fine you should have this then what you want to do is you want to click the checkbox here and then you want to click save user settings I already did all this so that's fine after you're done with that exit out of blender and restart it just to be safe and on import and export, you should have source engine. So SMD, VTA, DMX, QC, export, the same, uh, you should have source engine as well, you know, the same. So now that you have that, you're rare in a go in Blender, you're perfectly fine. Now what we need to do is we need to find a ragdoll that we want to turn into a player model. You know, if you're artistic, you can create your own, you know, ragdoll with Blender itself. If you're good with Blender, I'm not. So I don't create my own ragdolls. I just tend to mix and match. That's my style. As you see from, you know, other player models that I have that were probably, you know, recorded by a few friends. So first let's find a, let's find a ragdoll. You can use mine. You can make, you can find your own to already start, you know, on one that you want to make. So I found this one. Yakuza 5, Tatsuo Shinara. Um, it just says ragdoll, you know, he's, he's in a suit outfit, ragdoll by this person, you know, I'm not gonna, okay. And I'm not gonna upload it. Remember, I did not ask this guy permission to upload it. So I'm not gonna upload it, but I will subscribe and my item should be downloading. Now, what you want to do is you also want to go and find, unless you already have is find a ragdoll that has bones, especially on the fingers. So, for example, I downloaded this one, Badasses, from, uh, where is it, Joshers 100, or, or just Josher. And as you can see, they have individual fingers on the bones, and, you know, they look nice. I, I actually like these ragdolls, and I highly recommend you download them. But you can use the skeleton rig that they have right now as reference. So, I'm already subscribed to them, you know, here's my Gary's Mod, it just downloaded it. Now what we need to do is we need to launch up Gary's mod. So it might not show on screen unless I have it window mode. So so you're, my screen's just going to go black. Um, but basically what you want to do is you want to launch up Gary's mod. And you want to give it a few seconds to, you know, load up everything. Then at the bottom it should say extracting Yakuza or, or anything having to do with another player model you downloaded. It should be extracting it. Right now it showed me extracting Yakuza and... You know, just to be safe, I'm gonna run this in the window. So yeah, now you now you can hopefully see all this. This should you, sh you should be seeing this just fine. So it already extracted Yakuza. Let's just check to be safe. Let's let me start up Construct real quick. Let's just check. 
All of this will be unedited, by the way. Well, maybe just a little bit here and there just to cut off the loading times. But as I'm talking right now, you know, I probably won't edit this part out. All right, so here I am in Gary's mod, you know, a little laggy, but that's because I'm recording uh, via window, not full screen. Anyways, let's hit the Q. Let's go to add-ons and let's find Yakuza. So it should be with a Y. They should always be named with their named in Workshop. So, let's see. I forgot my ABCs already. Oh, he's not even here. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. I found it. He is named exactly like he is in, you know, Gary's Mod, but not Yakuza, just Tatsu Shinara. As, as I... I think his player model has some errors to it. Yeah, the eyes are missing, but that's that's an easy, easy fix in uh, Workshop. So I guess I'll also show you how to fix his little eye problem that he has here. Because as you can see, his eyes are just, you know, gone. It's just a purple and black texture. And let's just check to be safe that this is not a ragdoll. So I, I don't see anything as a ragdoll. It never said loading in the bottom right. I don't see his broken eyes. I see this one, but that one's fine. I don't know why it's showing up like that. You might have errors like this when you first, you know, make a player model. It'll be like, oh, there's no textures at all, even though it, there's 100% textures. Um, No, I don't see it. Maybe you guys saw it, and I'm just blind, but I did not see any sort of player model. You can pause yourself and check it. Here's my custom player model that I told you I mix and match. You know, I even edited the skin color as well, so... That's that's just me showing off, I guess. Alright, so now that we have the player model... Or, now that we have the ragdoll, I should say. As you can see, it's, it's just a dead little ragdoll. Now what I want to do is quit. We, we already got the ragdoll. Alright, so we're good to go. It's It was downloaded into our... Uh, Gary's mod. So now what we want to do is we want to open up GMAT Extractor. I already have the badasses here. So, they're all here as well. Here are the models as a Lua. So, you guys can do this on your own. So, what you want to do is you want to go to Gmod Extractor, Open, Browse, Local Disk C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Add-ons, and then we want to find uh, Tatsuo Shinada. Which should be right here. Or or your own player model. Where are you? There's Taser. Unless it is actually called Yakuza. Yep, nope, it's called Yakuza here. Right, in game it's just named differently. So select, extract all. As you can see, there's no Lua. A Lua is missing. And we extract it to Yakuza. Add on, extract it successfully. All right. So now that we extracted him, it's the same con it's the same concept for badasses, except this time it'll have a Lua with it. What you want to do is you want to go to Crowbar, Decompiler, and all these settings here, uh, if none of these are the same as your Crowbar, then copy these and copy these settings, pause the screen, do what you want. So now what we want to do is we want to browse, desktop, Badasses first, models, joshers, badasses, player models, and click any one of these models. Doesn't matter which one, because what you're gonna do is you wanna hit open and you're gonna decompile folder and all subfolders. Meaning every SMD file that was there, or MDO, my bad, is gonna be turned in, is, into something Blender can read. So don't worry, don't worry about you like don't worry if there's so much on it and you just want one specific thing. You can delete the rest if you just want one specific thing you know, model. And I'm only going to use one specific model. I'm probably going to use Barney or, or the first one I see. Alright, so as you can see, it, all of it is finished. Now we want to go back, decompiler, browse, down or uh, desktop, Yakuza, models, Shinada, Shinada, and right here, open, decompile folder and all subfolders. Alright. So now that we've done that, uh, what you want to do, is you want to open up Blender, File, Import, Source Engine, Back, Desktop, 
Yakuza models, Shinada, Shinada. Uh, and you want the reference. You don't want the physics or the body. You wait, wait a minute. Hmm. This one actually has the body. I think the reference is just the head for the for this specific character. Yeah. Yes, it is. So some models come like this. They come with a head, and then they come with the body. So what you want to do is you want to delete the skeleton by right-clicking it. You want to go back to import, source engine, and then get the body as well, because we need both things. We don't need one thing. We need both. And now we have both things, correct? So now we just right-click the skeleton, make sure the skeleton is highlighted, and we delete it, because this is not the skeleton we want to use. So as you can see, here is the character. Here's the player. The, well, rather the ragdoll. Since it's on a player model, just hit. No, nothing missing. Everything seems to be fine. Now what we want to do... Well, what you can do... I, I just do this to be safe. I open up a brand new Blender. Just to be 100% safe. I delete the little box. File. Import. Source Engine. Back. Desktop. And we want to go to the Badasses this time. So Badasses. Models. Joshers. Badasses. Player models. Decompiled. And as you can see, there's so much here. But the only thing I'm going to use is the Barney Skeleton. So I just... I, all I need is the reference. Uh, that's all I need. Uh, closed, open, I don't think it really matters. So I'm just going to use the reference. It's probably just going to give me the head. Yep, as you can see, it just gave me the head. All right, so delete the head. And now, now that we're on this one, what you want to do is you want to go back, copy, you know, right-click it, right-click both. So, oh, uh, so what you want to do here is you want to merge it. So you click, and then you shift-click on the body. So you have two of them. Then you want to hit Control J, and it merges the whole thing together, so it's not separated like before. For example, if it was separated, it would it would move like this. They would move separate, but when you merge it together, they all move together. So Control J, and now they're all together. So now we select it again, Control C, minimize, and then here Control V, and here's the skeleton, or here's the skeleton, and the player model, or rather the ragdoll that we need to set up. So this is this is just the setting up. In the next part, I'll show you how to make the skeleton fit onto the the ragdoll and weight painting and all that other, you know, good stuff. I'm not 100% good at it, but I'll try my best. So thank you all so much for watching. Check me out in the next episode. Peace. God damn you, Eric.